Hi, my name is Brett, and this is a video guitar lesson for beginners. Let's get right into it. Now let's talk about how to hold the guitar. So when you're first learning, you want to look at the guitar, and so you'd be tempted to do this, but it's very difficult to play the guitar that way, so always keep it right up against you like this, and try to elevate your right leg a little bit if you can, and that's going to help you hold the guitar properly. And you're not actually holding the guitar with your left hand. You're holding the guitar with your right elbow and wrist and arm like this. So I can actually let go with my left hand and the guitar should not fall down. It's being held up by my right leg and held in place by my right arm. You're also going to want to make sure that the neck doesn't do this. That's going to make it harder to play the guitar. You want the neck to actually be at an angle pointing up this way. The guitar has six strings and we need to know the names of the strings so that we know which string to play. The names of the guitar strings are named with letters of the alphabet. So this one is E and then A, D, G, B, E. So there's two E strings, the thickest one and the thinnest one. Now over here on this part of the guitar, there's these metal bars here and they're called frets. When we play the guitar, we put our fingers in these boxes here between the frets. So when we play here, that's called playing on the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, and so on. So you put your thumb behind the neck. I know you can't see it, but it's behind the neck of the guitar like that. I have it there. And it will occasionally go this direction, but you don't want it to completely go this way or be totally off the neck of the guitar. It's just going to make it harder. This part of my hand right here does not touch the guitar. So when I'm playing, there's actually a space between the neck and my hand. And sometimes my thumb will come up over the neck a little bit, but it's never going to be down here. It's never going to be like that. Now let's talk about how to hold a guitar pick. So if you make the OK sign, like that, and then put the pick in there, like this. If you have really long fingers, I've seen some people play like that. That's totally fine. But you want the triangle of the pick pointed toward you. So you come over here to play, and you can do this right now. Don't worry about this left hand right now. We're just going to play the strings with the pick. If you don't have a pick, you can use your thumb. So the pick is pointed right at me, and my thumb is flat, so it's not bent like that. And sometimes I'll see a lot of beginners do this, where they actually have their thumb pointed at them. You don't want to do that. Your thumb is actually going to point at your left hand, but the point of the guitar pick is going to point at the strings. And what you want to do is just this motion. All the movement is in my arm and my wrist. I'm not moving my thumb at all. It's all in the arm and wrist. So it may look like my wrist is totally stiff. and I'm just moving my arm, but there's actually a little bit of movement in my wrist. See that there? It's almost like painting with a paintbrush. So for this hand, your index finger is called finger number one. Your middle finger is called finger number two. Your ring finger is called finger number three. And your pinky is called finger number four. So go ahead and put your thumb back here and place your third finger on the third fret on the high E string. That's the thinnest string here. Even though it's closest to the ground, we call it the high E string. Put your third finger, your ring finger, on the third fret. So one, two, three, there's the third fret. And your fingers have to be curved like this, okay? Can't be flat, it's gotta be curved. So make sure your finger is curved and you don't want to put it in the middle of this box here. You want to put it touching the fret. So not on the fret, 
but right before it, actually right up against it, right before the third fret, and your fingers nice and curved. And these fingers will be up in the air a little bit, and so will this one. Now you get to play your first chord. So with the pick or your thumb, you're going to play just the G string, B string, and high E string. You play one string at a time, and all together, it should sound like this. Okay, it should sound like that. If it sounds like this, that means you're not pressing hard enough, so you gotta press a little more. But you don't have to press like you're holding on for dear life with all your strength, that's just gonna hurt. You wanna find the balance of a little bit more pressure, a little bit less, a little more, until you get just the right amount of pressure. So here I'm not pressing hard enough. Add a little more pressure, there, right there, so I don't have to press harder. If you don't have a pick, you can use your thumb like this. Now once you've done that, go ahead and let go. You don't want to hold your finger down a long time because that's wasted energy, it's just going to hurt. So take a break. If you just played that, then congratulations. You just played your first guitar chord, and that chord is called G. It's the most popular guitar chord. It's used in literally thousands and thousands of songs. Now if it sounds very different from the way this guitar sounds, it's most likely that your guitar is out of tune. So I will put a link in the description that shows you how to tune the guitar, and that will help a lot. So this next chord is called the C chord, which is also a very popular guitar chord. And you play this one by using your first finger, and you're going to put it on the first fret, of the B string. So the second string up from the floor is the B string right there. And you put it on the first fret. And then you gotta get the other fingers out of the way. And again, you have to make sure this finger is very curved, not flat. Okay? And you're gonna play the same strings. You play one string at a time, like this. The reason we play one string at a time, not all of them together at first, is so that we can hear if there's anything wrong. So most beginners have this go wrong, which is this type of sound. So you hear that muffled sound. The high E string sounds muffled because my first finger is not curved enough. So if I curve it a little more, the high E string will ring out. Now you'll notice it's not just my finger curving more, but my wrist is moving. See that small movement there? So here it is muffled. Then I'll curve my finger more, move my wrist up. I'll get these fingers out of the way so you can see what's happening. So that's the C chord. If you're not able to play that chord, it's still sounding muffled. That happens to a lot of beginners. I've done a lot of guitar lessons with a lot of people. That happens. Don't worry about it. Just skip it for now, and you can come back to it later. Let's go on to the next chord. This is also a very, very popular guitar chord, and it's called the D chord. This chord uses three fingers. So you start by putting your first finger on the second fret of the G string. Then you put your third finger, your ring finger, on the third fret of the B string. And then this is the tricky part, is putting your middle finger down on the second fret of the high E string. So it's got to squeeze in there, and if you need to, you can slide over a little bit, kind of wiggle your fingers around until it's just right. And now you're going to play the D string, G string, B string, and E string. We'll do them one at a time like this. You might have this kind of sound, and 
So you just need to press harder. And also make sure your pinky is not accidentally resting here, but maybe it's kind of like hugging the ring finger like that. You don't want it to touch any of the strings because that's going to muffle the strings. So have it like that. If you're not able to play that chord yet, again, it's okay. A lot of beginners cannot do that. Don't give up. Playing guitar is so much fun. When I first started playing the guitar, I could not do it right away. It took some time. Now let's learn another chord, also very popular. This chord is called E minor. So for this chord, we get to play all six strings. You start by putting your first finger on the second fret of the A string and then your next finger, your, your middle finger, is going to go on the second fret of the D string. So you're not going to be able to put your first finger way up here. You have to slide it down in this case to make room for this finger. Then you have to make sure again that this part of your hand is not touching these strings. So if you have small hands or if you're a kid it might be a little difficult at first, but the goal is to have these fingers curved, your wrists move forward, so that there's a space right here. And my palm and fingers are not touching these strings at all. So they can ring out and it'll sound like this. One string at a time. If you got all the notes ringing out, you can try this. Again, take a break. Make sure your hand's not in that same position for a long time. When you first start playing the guitar, you're going to be doing a lot of this. Leaning forward and looking to see that you're on the right fret, the right string. Just practice for a few minutes every day so that you don't strain your back, your neck, your fingers. And you can set up a mirror in front of you so that you can see. You can just look forward at the mirror and see what you're doing. Okay, so you have learned how to play the G chord, the C chord, the D chord, and the E minor chord on the guitar. And like I said, these chords are so popular, they're in thousands of songs. So that's what you'll want to do is practice the G chord, the C chord, the D chord and the E minor chord. Practice those chords over and over and over again. Mix them up. Don't always do it in the same order. Okay, so that was the musical side of playing the guitar. But the other side of playing the guitar is the physical muscles in our hands and wrists and arms. And I would like to give you an exercise that you can do to help strengthen your fingers. And I've been playing guitar since I was a little kid and I still do this exercise, so it's very helpful. This is how you do it. So again, on the thinnest string, the high E string, start by putting your first finger on the fifth fret. A lot of guitars will have a dot there or a square, but that dot is there to help you remember where the fifth fret is. Put your first finger there and play that note. And then, Put your next finger on the next fret. And your next finger on the next fret. And your next finger on the next fret. This is going to be the most difficult, the pinky. That's the weakest finger. Again, make sure your fingers are very curved. And try to make sure your fingers are very straight. Again, if you have really small hands, if you're a kid, what you can do is shift your whole wrist like that. Maybe you'd start on this and then shift over here. So I'm moving my wrist a little bit like that. So my thumb is sliding like that behind the neck there. That motion. Then go back. Like that. 
and do this a few times. So that is a guitar exercise. It's kind of like going to the gym for playing guitar and that will strengthen your fingers. It'll help with the coordination of using the pick on the right string and it's just going to help overall guitar playing and I hope you enjoyed your first guitar lesson. I would really love to hear from you in the comments. Please write any comment at all, what you liked about the video or something you didn't like, and I can make improvements in future videos. Again, my name is Brett. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just search Guitar Increase. Thank you very much.